there guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I've got yet another haul. This one's quite exciting, it's kind of cute. I actually think it's a brand that is a little bit underrated. Today we are going to do Nasty Gal. Yes, she's back. Is it gal or girl? Let me know what you think. I've bought on Nasty Gal a couple of times before and I think in terms of style, they're really, really up there. They're quite like on trend, but... The quality is just not always there. I have bought things before that I've really liked and then I've kept them. And I remember once I bought this like mustard dress thing. I showed it in my haul, kept it. And then the next day, the all inner lining of the sleeve of the dress just completely like ripped apart. So I'm very like split with Nasty Girl. I think they have some really nice stuff, but it just depends on the quality. We're gonna test it out again today. I have two big old bags of stuff. One great thing I've noticed with Nasty Gal is that they always have crazy insane discounts. I'm pretty sure I got this for like 40% off or, or like 50% off or something. But then the only other thing as well that makes me question that on the other side is I have a feeling they kind of rank up their prices and then they just really slash them like with a massive discount. So it seems like you're getting a really good deal. I mean, as long as the clothes are nice, then we can't really complain, can we? So this has got a whole lot of stuff. We're gonna start with one that I think is very much in my comfort zone. It's not what I expected. I didn't think it was gonna be silky. That's really, really interesting. So it's like a silky kind of little tea dress. Something that really jumped out to me about this is that it's a square neck, which I really, really appreciate. I think square necks are really, really flattering. First off from the jump that's like making me a little bit worried is that it is like a silky material and it has no stretch. So like I have quite chunky arms, so I'm a little bit worried about that for this. But I do think this looks nice. It's actually like way nicer than I expected it to be. I did not expect it to be this nice silky thing. This is kind of cute. I got this in a size 10 and I'm pretty sure it was originally £30 and I paid £22.50. When I first put this on, I actually quite liked it. I think it is really cute and I do like the style of it. The only thing is, is like the top area just looks a little bit off, like a little bit ill-fitting. And as you can see, as I was putting it on, one of the um, little elastics has snapped. So yeah, there's no way I can keep this dress but I do think it's quite cute. I just think there's just something that's just a little bit off about it and I don't know what. And it's quite see-through at the back. I do quite like the style of it and I think it's really cute but just there's something about it that I'm not enjoying. So yeah, this one's probably gonna have to go back. So I can't for the life of me remember what this is. Oh, I've got a feeling I've ordered this twice. I've got a feeling I'm going to pull this dress out in the second order as well. Okay. I saw this originally on another YouTuber called Model Mouth. She wore this on holiday somewhere and it looked really, really nice. The colour is obviously lovely. I love this like really like rich kind of goldeny brown colour. Um, and then she styled it with like a nice little waist belt. It's really nice and silky. It feels really nice. I think this could be a winner. So this I got in a size 10 and I paid £18.75 but I think it retailed for £25. So this one I just think is not a great fit for me personally. It's just kind of quite tight on the top area and it's like pulling in ways that just doesn't look very flattering. I like the colour but just something a little bit off about it. It just doesn't look quite right. It's just not not fitting how I expected it to. I think this would suit someone that has really, really great kind of like long legs. I just don't think this is one for me. Okay, so this one was a last minute one for me. This was kind of like, as I say, I do this thing where just before checkout, I do one last check, anything else I want to add, added this in last minute. So this is like a really, really nice like white kind of lacy maxi dress. Now, from what I can tell, this is looking very, very see-through. So, oh, ooh. There's an underskirt, thank you nasty gal. There's a really, really thick underskirt underneath that. I think this is gonna be actually really, really nice and flattering, perfect for holiday again. I really, really like this kind of long length, flowy, romantic style. I got it in a size small slash medium and it was originally £30 but I paid £22.50. Okay, so I am really impressed with this one. This is really cute, like I really love that they've put the underskirt in this. I think it's such a thought about detail because this is definitely see-through without the underskirt. The top was very see-through so I had to put a little bra on underneath. This would be amazing as a beach cover-up for like a bikini or whatever, in Ibiza, in Cannes, in Monaco plunge is like perfect as well it's like not too much and the sleeves are really nice and floaty i think this is 
so beautiful. I am really, really impressed with this one. Really, really like this. It's kind of cut just above your shoes, which is actually quite a nice length because it means it's not going to drag along the floor. Well done, nasty gal. You're doing well so far. Again, I have no idea what this is. It's silky. It's, ah, I remember. This is a silky little kimono. I think this has really, really nice detail. Again, I didn't realize it was gonna be silky, which is, I really, really don't mind. I love the embroidered detail on the front. I think that's actually been really well done. And it's got nice kind of tassely bits on the sleeve. This is gonna be so cute on holiday. Oh my God, I like it. I think this is one that, again, I need to try on because it might just be borderline a little bit ridiculous. I hope not. So I got that one in a size medium. I paid 33.75, which that's quite expensive. They put the original price as 70 quid. I don't think the original price was 70 pounds. I think it was like 50. Mm, this is what I mean when I say nasty gal kind of changes their prices quite a lot so that it seems like you're getting a really good deal. I really don't think this was originally advertised as 70 pounds. Okay guys, I know this looks a little bit mad because <laughs> of the outfit on underneath but i would be thinking more with this kimono more like a bikini or a little top with a denim skirt underneath definitely not these crazy mustard trousers it's kind of like exactly how i imagined it it's very like wizardy i think it's quite expensive so i need to probably try this on with a couple of like bikinis and stuff like that to determine if i like it enough to keep it it's made really really well like the quality is beautiful it feels so nice and silky hmm not too sure this one is one of the most exciting things i think within this haul for me and it could be an absolute flop i seem to think these kind of outfits look really good on me and then i put them on and i look like an absolute little boy it's this really cute little polka dot co-ord set so these are the trousers. They're kind of like suit trousers. There is the matching kind of blazer jacket, which is stunning. Like, why is this? Oh my God, my throat. Ugh. I love a good double breast blazer. I think it looks way more expensive. I just thought this was really like old school style. It just reminds me again of like Julia Roberts in Pretty Little Woman. But there is a big major issue with this one for me and it's that the trousers look extremely thin. I can literally see everything through them. So like that on my legs is gonna be a very interesting, interesting time. I think they do look quite small, which is also again, not a great time. So I got them both in a size medium. And the trousers I got for 18.75 and the blazer I got for 30 pounds but the original price of the trousers was 25 pounds and the original price of the blazer was 40 pounds so yeah not too bad I've had this in mind for like I've got quite a few weddings coming up this year and then I have a races that I'm also going to so kind of had it in mind for that okay so I'm actually really weirdly pleasantly surprised by this when I was putting it on it didn't feel great like I thought it was gonna look awful but actually when I looked in the mirror, it's actually a really cool outfit. The quality isn't great, the trousers are crazy thin, so I'm pretty sure you can see through them. And they're also quite tight, like a little bit tighter than I think I would like them to look. But I think with the jacket over the top, they look really cool. Like, is it just me or is this a really cool outfit or is it just a little bit too weird? I'm so, so surprised by this. Hmm. Bag number two. This was the dress that I've ordered twice. <laughs> This is a very, very, very sweet. Oh, it came with a little blood button. Thank you, nasty gal. This is a really, really cute little midi skirt. Again, that reminds me of like Pretty Little Woman vibes. Julia Roberts at the races. Love this color with dots as well. I think it looks so classy. I've also seen this kind of style floating around a lot of stores and they've had them sold out. So I thought I would try my luck and see if this works. Again, I'm slightly worried that it's quite see-through. It looks very, very thin, but I think this could be cute i really 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 like the style i think this just say with like this top like tied up to be a little crop i think would be really really cute the skirt i got in a size medium i paid 17 pounds but it was originally 20 pounds okay so this skirt i actually really really like the only issue is again it's my hippie things like the buttons are kind of pulling apart a little bit so like you can kind of just the skin is kind of poking through a little bit but from far away this looks really 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 
cute. I love the pattern, I love the colour. Quality wise, it's just not the best. Like that's just not a great look if my belly starts to poke out of my skirt. These were a big old risk for me because they're just not normally something I would go for. They're a pair of like mustardy yellowy coloured little trousers with little polka dots all over and they just look really cute. The reason I wouldn't normally go for something like this is because I know lengthwise they just wouldn't fit. They'd probably just be ankle swingers. But they looked really cute on the model, so I thought I would give them a go. I really like the black little buttons on the side. They seem really nice and like flowy, so they'd be perfect for like a summer holiday. It's just how thin are they and how short are they? I got them in a size 10. I paid £17 for them, but they were originally £20. What do we reckon to the trousers, guys? I think they're actually really flattering. They fit me quite well. They actually do almost kind of have the length that I would need for a trouser. I do think they're flattering as well. My only worry is do they look a little bit cheap? Like does the material look cheap? But they were quite cheap, so it's kind of like, it's quite justified. I think with a good iron as well, they would probably look a little bit less cheap, but I don't know, I quite like them. Especially like with this little outfit with the little heels and a little tied up top. Ooh, this one I'm actually really excited about as well. So this, bleh, Feels disgusting. Right, so <laughs> this is a really cute little lacy pink tie up crop top. Look how gorgeous those roses are. But this feels absolutely horrendous. I can imagine this feels so horribly itchy on the skin. So obviously, I will try them on and let you know, but. At the moment, I haven't got insanely high hopes. Got it in a size 10. I paid £21 for it, and originally it was £25. Okay, guys, so this top is just a little bit ridiculous. First of all, it does feel horrendous. Like, it feels like the most scratchy material ever. And second of all, it's tiny. Like, it's literally so tiny. Like, my boobs are basically just hanging out. There's no kind of, like, material here. So it's just, like, bra, basically. I don't love it. I think the idea is there and I think, do you know what, this kind of pattern in like more of a bodysuit type thing would be really cute but this just doesn't look great. This one will definitely be going back. This one again was bought on like a little bit of a whim, it was like a last minute purchase but I just couldn't say no to the gorgeous, insanely gorgeous red colour of this dress. So, oh nasty girl, you're confusing me, what's going on here? <laughs> I think this is kind of like you put it on like a jacket and then I think you wrap it round a couple of times because there's some ribbon here. So that's kind of interesting. It's a bit more like a wrappy dress. I just really, really loved the colour. This feels actually really, really nice. It's like a chiffon -y type material. I got this in a size 8 because I have a feeling it was um, sold out in all the other sizes. Paid £34 for it, but it was originally £40. So yeah, this is one of the more expensive ones on the website. Okay, so I can't lie, this one took me a good couple of minutes to work out what the hell was going on. It's basically a wrap dress. Don't know about this one. The colour is absolutely stunning. I love this like bright red colour. But I just don't know if I like it enough to keep it. I think the other dresses that I have in this haul are a little bit nicer, so I think I would probably choose them over this one. Okay, so the last one, finally. I feel like this has been the longest haul ever. But basically, I was on the search for this H&M dress that I saw on a girl in the airport in Morocco, and it looked so cool on her. Like, it is so not everyone's thing. I know this is very much like my granny thing that I love. She loved it too, so there is other grandmas out there in the world. It's just this really like nice floral kind of big, bouncy maxi dress and it was sold out online and just never came back in stock again so I saw this on the Nasty Girl website and I thought it was kind of similar so I thought I would give it a go it's this really really cute little floral kind of granny print dress got um, yellow little sunflowers on it with it's like I guess a muted kind of blue colour and then I love that it's like tiered down on the skirt so it's got three tiers which I mean I think looks cute but I mean when I wear it will it look a little bit ridiculous I really hope not because I think this is actually really really nice. Got it in a size 10 and I paid £25 for it but it was originally £40 so quite a good little bargain there. Let's just hope that this looks as nice as I think it will when it's on. Now I can't lie I have actually already worn this dress. I actually wore it yesterday straight after I filmed the first part of the video. I am absolutely in love with this. This looks exactly how I planned it to look. I know this dress is gonna be like marmite for some people. I know people are gonna be like what? 
the heck is that? I think this is so cute. I know it's a weird one, I know it is, but I absolutely love this. This is just so, so my style. It's also, again, a really good length. It like kind of just hits your calf, so it's very, very flattering. And you can wear cute little shoes with it. I also wore a pair of white Converse with it and it just looked so effortlessly cool. And that concludes my nasty girl haul. I am actually crazily impressed with some of the stuff that I picked up. I know that I mentioned before that I am always very wary of the quality from Nasty Girl. I've had things that have like, I've worn once and have broken or like they're just very thin and see-through, but I think there's a few things that I actually really, really like. And definitely, obviously, there are a few things that I will return as per usual. Definitely kind of more on the positive side this time, which is really, really good. I hope you enjoyed this haul, guys. If you did, then please give the video a thumbs up. It really, really helps me out and I appreciate it so much. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. You have been awesome as you always are and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.